What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. The full team of the year has been leaked. This isn't it. Um, I can sure you can guess that some of these players are in it. This isn't it, uh, because I know that some people don't like leaks. So if you don't like leaks, don't watch this video. Come back tomorrow at 6 p.m. when we've got the actual team of the year, and we will go through the team of the year, the stats, the upgrades, everything good that EA have given us tomorrow. I can't believe team of the year is here already. It, is, uh, it has flown by, hasn't it? But yeah, team of the year is coming tomorrow, guys. But the full team of the year has already been leaked. And we're going to go through who the players are today. Uh, marry them off against what I projected uh, or wanted or voted for. And uh, talk about what's possible to come with a few other bits and bobs as well. So if you guys are enjoying the video, feel free to drop a thumbs up. So I'm not going to showcase anything right now. We'll get through uh, Foot Sheriff's content in a second. Um, but first of all, I voted for Emmy Martinez. I knew it was a bit contentious. Uh, I thought winning the World Cup would have been enough, but it's actually going to be uh, Thibaut Courtois is going to be the team of the year goalkeeper. So I was wrong on that one. Uh, of the back four, I voted for Terra Hernandez. And guess what? He's in team of the year. I voted for Virgil van Dijk. And guess what? He's in team of the year. I voted for Joao Cancelo. He's not in team of the year. Instead, the next defender is actually Eder Militao. So another Real Madrid player. <clears throat> uh, and I also voted for Kieran Trippier. And he's also not in team of the year. It is going to be Hakimi of PSG. So we've got Real Madrid, Eder Militao. We've got Teo Hernandez from AC Milan. We've got um, Van Dijk from Liverpool. Uh, Courtois from Real Madrid, which is going to be good for the links, isn't it? And Hakimi from PSG. In midfield, guys, I had voted for Joshua Kimmich. I am blown away that he's not in team of the year. And the reason why he's not in team of the year is because... Hold tight. He is in team of the year. Now, these stats are predicted. Um, but I can't believe Jude Bellingham got in team of the year. As a midfielder. Okay, I, I, like, I get it. He's good. And obviously, I'm English. He's English. I love him. I'm, like, I'm, I'm actually happy he's in team of the year. It's nice. He just... Of all the midfielders that were an option, I don't quite think he deserves to be there. I'm just, pers my, you know, personal opinion of that. But yeah, I voted for Joshua Kimmich, and it's actually going to be Jude Bellingham that's in team of the year. The other two midfielders, uh, I voted for De Bruyne. Yes, it's De Bruyne. I voted for Luka Modric. Yes, it's Luka Modric. For the front three, um, there was a few other people that you could potentially have seen here instead of Mbappe, Benzema, and Messi. But as it happens... I was absolutely correct. And Mbappe, Benzema and Messi are indeed the front three team of the year. We don't know the 12th man yet. I assume that it's going to be Erling Haaland. Um, you know, EA just know that they'll get those pack sales with those. And although the Bellingham team of the year from Foot Sheriff said stats were project projected, De Bruyne's doesn't. So if these aren't projected, it's 93 dribbling and shooting. 87 pace, good defending, great physical, 98 passing. Five, four star, five star, who knows, maybe maybe a bit higher. I wonder if that's like the confirmed dynamic image as well. That'd be quite interesting, wouldn't it? We've also got Teo Hernandez. Uh, his stats, again, it doesn't say stats are projected. Now, normally it does when they are. Uh, 99 pace, 91 dribbling, 87 defending, 91 physical, 85 passing, and 82 shooting. What a card that will be. I mean, that would, that would, I'm getting, I've, like, I've, I've been playing FIFA differently this year. I don't have a road to glory, but I'm getting a little bit hyped about these cards. I can't lie. We've got 98 team of the year, Lionel Messi. Now, the ratings are usually just right, right? So 97 De Bruyne, 94 Hernandez, 98 Lionel Messi with 99 dribbling, 97 shooting and passing, 78 physical and 93 pace. I mean, it's it's going to be a wild card, isn't it? A hawk on him. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Give this man five-star skill moves and or five-star weak foot. Why on earth not? We have also got big Virgil van Dijk coming in team of the year. 90 pace. 90, I mean, he, his gold card anyway is broken, right? 
um still to this day to, right now on the 18th of january van dyke's gold card is still in some of the most meta teams available so a 97 van dyke with great pace near perfect defending and physical and then great dribbling and passing for a center back he's going to be so good he's going to be so good we've just got as well and this is the last one that i have from foot sheriff for the time being is Eder Militao, 93 pace, 94 defending, 92 physical, with 82 dribbling and 80 passing. And again, he's he's a beast this year, man. You know, and uh, when you look at, I, I guess, like the, yeah, the team of the year, it's starting to be as populated as the most popular on footbin right now. I mean, Kylian Mbappe already has a 94 rated card, right? So I assume the 98 rated that he'll probably get. Um, is going to have 99 pace, maybe like 98 dribbling, 97 or 98 shooting, and then probably like 85, 86 physical. But, I mean, this card is already one of the most broken, and now it's just going to be even more broken. The one that I'm most excited for is actually Karen Benzema. I feel like he probably deserves a 99 rated card. You know? Couldn't make it to the World Cup through injury, but was insane for Real Madrid. Won the Champions League, won the league, and was doing well for France before his injury, and won the Ballon d'Or. Um, for me, okay, this is a centre mid version. For me, his 91 rated gold card, it's already four star, four star. What they need to do with this card, and they've been doing it with the Winter World Cards, so I've enjoyed it. Sorry, I keep calling them Winter World Cards, the Foot Centurions, so I've enjoyed it, right? They've done a really good job of changing work rates on the Centurions, of changing traits, adding traits on the Centurions. Give this man some more traits, make him high-low, give him five-star weak foot, right? It's going to be a 99-rated card. Give him a massive upgrade on his dribbling, specifically agility and balance. 99 stamina, make him the card that he should be, right? This, this is... It's not going to be the best Benzema we've ever had because last season we had this Benzema here and I think this was 4-4, four, four, right? No, this was 4-5 four, four, and uh, 54K. Um, this is kind of where you want it to be, but it was high, medium work rates here with not the most uh, traits. This is kind of the card that you want the team of the year to be. Maybe a 99. You know, he did win Ballon d'Or and then you just apply an engine to it <clears throat> and it's just the best card in the game, right? At that point, especially if he goes four-star, five-star this year as well. Other than that, he hasn't really had, you know, he had the 97 team of the season there, the 97 team of the season there, the 96 team of the season there. I don't remember that that card. Um, and then the 90 rated, uh, the Halloween, what was this? Uh, it wasn't called Halloween, was it? It was uh, oh, the Scream team. Man. How is that card 90 rated? If they released that as a 90 rated today, we'd be crying our little eyes out, wouldn't we? Um, but yeah, hopefully they give Benzema... A massive, massive upgrade. You know, Hakimi, <clears throat> one that we haven't seen uh, at the moment either from uh, from these players. Nope, not here. Hakimi, he has the 87 rated World Cup Phenoms team. I anticipate he'll probably be a 94 as well, like Hernandez, maybe a 95. And again, this card, it's just going to be outrageous, right? He's already four star, four star. He's already very good. What's mad is we've got Benzema from Real Madrid. Eder Militao, Luka Modric, and Thibaut Courtois from Real Madrid in the new chemistry system, right? If we actually go and look at the squad and what we can build, <clears throat> let's assume let's assume that uh, Benzema striker and Mbappe is left wing, right? We can put Benz in there, right? He's a striker. I'm uh, now I'm jumping the gun a little bit, assuming that any of us are going to have full team of the year, right? We're not. Um, however, when it comes down to the chemistry. For the most part, we've got Modric, we've got De Bruyne. Uh, it's, for the most part, it's going to be good. The only issues are going to be Bellingham and De Bruyne. Um, although De Bruyne will get one chem point from Courtois being Belgium, Eder Militao will be uh, in there. We'll have Van Dijk in here, which then with a Premier League manager that will be English, <clears throat> will massively help here. Hakimi here. And then... <clears throat> Hernandez will get the French links here. So that already, without a manager, is 21 out of 33 chemistry. Now, these are going to be team of the year level players. So that's wild, right? Benzema full chem, Modric full chem, Eder Militao full chem, Courtois full chem. 
Here's, here is Hakimi. So apparently he's a 93. Here is Hakimi from Foot Sheriff. 99 pace, 89 defending, 90 physical. Four star, four star. That's going to be an unbelievable card. Um, however, when you actually build this team, I mean, if we go for an English Premier League manager, it gives one, two, three, three, three more bits of chemistry. Um, you had a manager on here. Just, oh, here we go. An English Premier League manager. Oh, I have to pick the league. It's a given, but it's uh, Eddie Howe, but Premier League. But there you go. Premier League, Eddie Howe. That takes us up, guys, to 24 out of 33 chemistry. Now, like I say, with these cards being team of the years, this is, this is the team of the year for what it's worth. With these cards being team of the years, you're not going to really need chemistry boost. So the fact that Mbappe, Benzema are going to be on three dots and Messi is going to be on two. The fact that Modric, three, De Bruyne, two, Bellingham, one, that's fine. Van Dijk, one, Hernandez, one, that's fine. You might prefer Van Dijk to get that extra pace. So you might go for a Dutch manager from the Premier League um, and get Van Dijk up to two dots. It will mean Bellingham doesn't get a second dot. But if, uh, you know, his in-game stats are outrageous, you're not going to matter too much. But because of the new chemistry system, we can now get way better chemistry on a team of the year than ever before. And uh, that's absolutely amazing. Now, before we go today, guys, uh, one of the other things I just want to show you guys is the absolutely unbelievable team of the year icon card design. As uh, Foot Scoreboard here says, here is the official card design of the team of the year icon. Kaka, Kaka is just a prediction of Criminal X. Tell me that this isn't the most beautiful card EA have ever released. It is just amazing. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about a confirmed team of the year down below, guys. Uh, we have got, just before we go, Luka Modric team of the year. Uh, he is 37 years old. He's 97 rated. Oof, I'm excited for tomorrow at 6pm, guys. I really am. Um, but that is going to be the end for now. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.